This is a bit of code out of my code library, and this one is to jog my memory on how to do formatting. Here we have a few uh, variables. We have two integers and a, and a literal. And down here is what they call the manual parameter numbering system. This one is preferred. This one causes less confusion when you have to come back later because you have to define everything clearly and it helps to document itself. Normally what you'll see is you'll see this line right here. Uh, you'll have this literal and then you'll have this formatting statement and then you'll have the uh, dot format out there which places the variables into here. But you can break it down, it takes up more space, but you can break it down into three different pieces and that's what I've done for clarity. So the first one is the actual formatting and inside this bracket is zero. And zero will correspond to this first character inside the format statement. So A, every time you see zero, there'll be an A put in there. The one will be the B. The two will be the A plus B. And on it goes, back to zero. Zero is A, B is one, and then the third one is zero, one, two, three. Three will be the A times B. So then what happens is we do the print statement. So we put in this literal and then we'll put in the format operation, which is this line right here. This will bring it all together and it will print it out into a uh, nice statement. Again, we can do this in one line right here. Here's the literal, same literal as here. Here's the zero, the one, the two, and they will map into A will be the zero, B will be the one, two will be the A plus B, zero will be the A again, B will be the uh, one again, and three will be the A times B. Okay, well, let's see how that works. Let me hit the F5 button and run it. And back up here. So here it is, manual number, uh, parameter numbering. 5 plus 17 equals 22. 5 times 17 equals 85. Here's the other line. So this is the three line setup, and this is the one line setup, and you can see it produces exactly the same results. Okay, so that's it for manual parameter numbering. Let's go on to the automatic uh, parameter numbering. Here is the automatic parameter numbering and it looks just like the one we just got away from except you'll notice there's no numbers. And what happens is the system assumes that A is here, B is here, and the B times A will go into here. Uh, but as you can tell, it's not very explicit. It would be very easy to become confused about which was going in where, especially if this got long and involved. So this works just fine. It's the same three type of characters. You have the brackets. You have we have the uh, format operation, the, the format statement here, the a b, the b times a or b uh, to the eighth power, and then the the literal, and then the thing that brings it all together and prints it. So, yeah, exactly the same, except that with this, you don't have to declare which one is which. But to me, it's just not as sharp. It's easier to make a mistake. And here is the single line, which does it all. Uh, and as we'll see, we'll run it again and go back up here. And here is the auto uh, parameter numbering. And you get precisely the same result as you do... Um, these three lines give you exactly the same as the single line. Okay, let's look at the example of mixed numbers and alphabetics. Now here's a simple statement. It just says print bracket bracket or bracket space bracket, which is important, and format AC. So what's going to happen is it's going to stick A in here and C in here. Oops, where am I here? Not watching what I'm doing. And if you remember, A is 5 and C is TSB and it will print out 5 TSB and that's what we have right over here. So we've already run it. We can see 5 TSB. So let's look at some other things, some uh, other different types of string formatting. And these are a bit more complex. This first one is pretty simple. Here's our brackets. We have a colon, a greater than sign, and a 10. And then we're, we've got the dot format statement, and here's our literal, and we're, we want to format that literal. 
Now over here I've got my comment that says shifts right seven space and what it's going to print is it's going to print those seven spaces and then TSB because 10 minus the TSB 3 is 7 and we can see it right over here. The next one is uh, colon 10 and C and C is a variable which contains the string TSB it shifts left 10 and pads it um, with spaces and you can see here and we can see here which is not too interesting next we can see the colon underscore less than 10 and we'll put in the TSB and what it's going to do is it's going to print that TSB and pad it out with underscores and here it is over here TSB pad it out with underscores the next one is the colon plus less than 10 and again our, our uh, input is TSB shifts left 10 spaces and pad so it's going to print TSB and then 7 plus signs and here it is over here the next one is print colon underscore uh, caret this up arrow and 10 and this means center which is a very useful thing again we're going to use our TSB centers and pads it prints that and we can see over here where I did it underscore TSB underscore and then the last one in this grouping is colon uh, exclamation greater than 10.5 and we're going to format TS Brownie and so what we're going to do is we're going to truncate shift and pad so it's going to look like that over there it's going to be uh, what is that five exclamation points TS bro and you can see it right over here where it actually did that okay so some interesting uh, quick and dirty ways to do some uh, formatting okay on to the next section let's talk about decimal formatting not quite as interesting because they don't have a lot of different ways to do it I mean you don't have any decimal places to deal with right so these are all about integers and let's go over here and move this up so we can see it okay so this is just uh, quite simple it will print out 85 if you try to do something like uh, a divided by B it will crash because it's integer won't do floating or anything like that the next one the colon 015 D and then we're gonna do a to the B power so uh, this says 15 digits pad left with zeros and our result will look like that and if we look over here we can see almost all of it so we got three zeros and then the number so it padded out left with zeros so that's a useful feature uh, here we are print plus D comma plus D and we're gonna put in the variable B and B times minus one so these are sign decimals this tells me I want a sign decimal and so what I'll get is I'll get plus 17 and minus 17 and over here sure enough we got plus 17 and minus 17 it shows us the signs and then the last one is space D and if we do a format we get uh, on the minus B we put in a minus B it's this is going to show us an, a minus if it's negative and it'll show us a space if it's positive and over here I didn't do the positive but uh, we get a negative 17 and if we had put in a positive we'd get us uh, like this we just get 17 with a space in front of it the floats are relatively simple uh, here we have a, a colon F and let's just do this number so this is 1.1234567891011012 1, it defaults to 7 and so what it's going to print is going to print 1.1234567 1, 1, and there it is over here one, three, four, five, six, okay well that's okay but uh, the next one looks exactly like it and why did I du duplicate this well if you look here the number is point it doesn't have a one in front of it point blah 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 and what it prints over here is it prints a leading zero so that's kind of interesting on to the next one this colon 06.2 F so let's format 3 2 1 1 2 3 5 6 7 8 10 11 12 uh, we're going to have six total 
digits shown. That's on both sides of the decimal place and that includes the decimal. So six places including the decimal, two are going to be decimal places to the right. And that's what it should look like over there. 321.12 and if we look over here, here's what we have. 321.12. So 123 four, five, six. Yes, it includes the decimal. And we have two on the right side. So six dot and two to the right. The next one, well, what do you expect? It's going to be nine total places, including the decimal. And we're going to have three to the right of the decimal. And there it is. And it should print 00321.123. And over here, we can verify that 00321.123. Uh, 07.4F, seven places total, including the decimal, four to the right, and it should look like that. And you notice this is only 1.1, so it should look like 01.100000. And here it is over here, sure enough. And the last one I keep here in my little library for floats is this 07.4E, and I'm going to format using the um, exponential. So this is an E rather than an F. So it's going to give me exponential format and it should look like that. And if we look over here where we ran it, sure enough, that is what we get. Okay, the last one is date and time. The first thing we need to do with date and time is we need to go get this uh, from the uh, date time library. Otherwise it won't work. And down here we have the colon and the percent Y, which is the year, the dash, which will insert a dash in here, and you can use other characters, percent M for the month, dash, percent D, uh, space, percent hour, colon, percent minute. If we look over there, it should print like that. And over here, can't quite see it. I'll make it a little smaller. Okay, there we go. From our last run, yes, that's exactly what we get. The next one is year, month, day, and uh, with no characters in between. And what we get is, sure enough, we get 2016-1209, and the time hasn't changed. I didn't change anything with the time. And the last one is uh, similar, except that I have shown that it's the 24-hour clock capable. So over here, I use the 2359 and sure enough it comes out with the 24-hour format. Okay, well that was it for formatting numbers, floats, dates, times, that kind of stuff. Hope you found it useful and interesting in your Python programming experiences.